Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We're repairing my brother-in-law's truck here. He's been hearing some grinding and he started seeing some brake fluid and then his, uh, his brake fluid light, came, low brake fluid light came on and this is what we found. Look at that. That is nuts. Typical Ford. Typical Ford. Yep. <laughs> Finally, he's, he understands. <laughs> Dude. This oh is all ground out off the piston head, dude. That is craziness. Wow. So is there even a brake pad there? Uh, <laughs> no, dude. There's not, there wasn't no, even a brake it's all, pad. It's all, uh, it's all in pieces, bro. What? Hold on, there is a pe there is a wow. pad. It's, it's shoved, be it's shoved down in here. It's like caught in between the, uh, that is the crazy. rotor and the, uh, all right, we're gonna dig further into this and we'll show you what we here, got. Man, get me okay, so this is what we found. So we have a brake pad right here. It's supposed to be another one right here. Well, guess what? It's down at the bottom. And here's a piece of it. I need paper towel, Andrew. I don't have any. A used one. Yeah, that bag's got used ones. This, I got wow. I that crap all over. That is unbelievable, folks. There it is right there. This is why you listen to that little squeal that you hear <laughs> <laughs> when you're, when you're, uh, when you're breaking. That's there to tell you, hey, I'm getting low. I need new pads. So that is yeah, unbelievable. I, I thought the grind part was going to go away. <laughs> yeah. I sprayed some yeah. WD-40 in there. Oh my goodness. That's unbelievable. So. Look at the big chunk of the pistons popped off. Wow. This is the whole whole back of his tire looks like it was armor alled. <laughs> What's that? What size is that? 13 16th or 7 eighths? What? On the back of the the, the uh the mount. I would say I would say 7 eighths. That's what I thought. It's a big a monster, dude. Yeah. Quarter inch on them, if that. That's the outside pad. So tell the story of what happened the first time that it. No, no. no. <laughs> Come on. No, no. So let's hear it. I just told you, dude. We'll tell it again real quick for the people. The people uh, need to know. I was hearing some squealing. Okay. And then I was hearing some grinding. <laughs> okay. I ignored the grinding for a week. <laughs> And then the grinding became mechanical failure grinding. So what would happen? How'd you know that? Uh, every time I pushed the brakes, my tires were. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man! I'm like, what the heck was that? That and is then, uh, crazy. You know, then then you got that. Wow. You got the failed failed uh, caliper. And what was? Didn't you say the something about the pedal happened? Well, yeah, so. the pedal. Me and Gabe were. Uh, <clears throat> We, we come to a red light and I went to stop and the pedal went all the way to the floor. Wow. But then when I pulled back off the pedal, it came all the way back up and was good, but it was making all kinds of mechanical failure sounds. What did they sound like? Like, <laughs> <laughs> So every time you hit the brakes, the front, so it's probably, it freeze up, dude. so it's probably this tire was locking up. Yeah, it was locking up. And it would make us, it would make a, like a hurt mouth sound. Like a squeal sound? Like you were... No, no. Like the, the tires were literally... Locking up. Locking up. Like it would chirp? Yeah. Would it just do it for a second or would it do it... No, it was like... Argh! I'm like, dude. <laughs> did it pull to one side? No, I wasn't going that fast when I oh. did it, dude. Wow. <sighs> that is some crazy stuff, people. Yeah, I figured if I just threw a little bit of JB Blaster WD-40 on it, it would go away. <laughs> JB Blaster. PB Blaster. <laughs> JB Butter and Jelly Blaster. <laughs> JB Weld. JB Weld Blaster. That's good stuff. PB Blaster. Yeah, PB. Yeah, there's brake fluid everywhere. And luckily, everything's coming off all right. Off all right, so that's good. You got a new caliper, right? I got new everything. Oh, new rotor too, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna just... I mean, just blast it with the, the hard end. With the hard one? Yeah, right, and hit it like right here. <laughs> there goes the brake pad. <laughs> Hold on, dude, that was stuck up in there. Let's see. 
Wow. No pad left. I thought that is the pad. Dirt. <laughs> it's not supposed to be steel pads? Is that custom? Dude. Wow. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, there it is. Man, that's a lot of rust on that thing, man. Yep. That's salvageable. <laughs> Go for it. Sell it on eBay. Put it on eBay. <sighs> that's going to be the first item in our uh, our online store, folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me go grab some. Starting bid, two dollars. <laughs> it's a good paperweight. You could probably take it and weld some stuff on it and make a. A clock. You yeah yeah make some art out of it. <laughs> <clears throat> yep, gotta keep them clean, folks. Wow. All right, we're gonna try and get this cleaned up and put some parts back on. So there we go. We got the new cap, really, the dude, new rotor, think... pads with new clips. I don't think you really need to spray them off. That's two. That's for both the front there. Look at the size of this caliper. It's a pretty good size. Man, you ain't lying. And spanking new baby. <clears throat> You're not gonna clean any of that off. Huh? Proper procedure, folks, is to take a wire wheel and clean the back of the... Clean a what? The, the, the guard? No. The hub. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, that's all right, dude. It looks like it's already machined. No, no, no. On the, the that part. Oh, on that? Yeah. No, I'm good. <laughs> Just, you got some of the... I, I got some. Some of that... No... That, uh, no yes. Yeah, you C could just put some grease on there, too. Some C's. Anti-C's. Yeah. Yeah. Some C's. <clears throat> Some easy seasy brake pad squeezy. On top of my damn thing here, dude, like it's a storage facility. <laughs> What's the torque spec for those bolts? <laughs> Tight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tight. Not loose. You break it off and then back it off a quarter turn. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got about 20 minutes into this pretty much yeah maybe not even yep yeah, and today is going to be uh estimating like 48 50 degrees today so we figured this would be a good day to do it let alone it being dangerous <laughs> extremely dangerous what why are you putting that bracket on right Here's there Dude, why didn't you tell me that was in there? <laughs> I wondered when I saw it when it was on the caliper. Are these pre-greased? Yeah, I think they're pre-greased. It won't take much to get that off. Dude, I ain't taking that off. It'll take you five seconds. Come on! Don't be such a whiner. <laughs> son of a biscuit eater. No cussing on this channel, I'm son! Hardy. <laughs> the two stooges. I already had everything in place. Oh, New slides, everything. It's not that hard. You know what? Just do it and quit your complaining. If I wanted to do this, I'd do this for a living. I don't like doing it. <laughs> you Especially on Fords. Yeah. I hear you. This is a GMC channel, not Ford. Oh. GMC Arctic Cat. Gosh dang it. And Honda. And Wheel Horse. There's one skag. <laughs> oh, now you got dirt all over that. On what? <laughs> no idea. Don't forget to wipe grease why on we, this. Why did we even, uh, yeah. <laughs> why did we even clean these on the parts cleaner, dude? If there was a brand new one there. It's good there. practice. A smarty pants. <laughs> Don't forget the clips on this other one. I got a brand new. So that's for three. the other side no this is this came with this oh it did yeah and then i got another oh nice well that's yeah. cool perfect though that must have been uh an ex gmc engineer that was thinking about that <laughs> you know ford wouldn't have done that <laughs> 
You better go before I don't see you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no. Everybody jokes around like that. I know, I'm kidding. It's all good. They joke around about GMC doing that too. Yeah. Everybody's got their own problems. <laughs> they're, Pol they're, they're Polish engineering. <laughs> Pol <Pole> engineering. <clears throat> Man, this thing needs some more rust, I think. Really? <laughs> Maybe an undercoat Dude, here. Dude, for there. this to be born in Dearborn, Michigan, yeah. and be 10 years old, it's really not that bad. Right? That Explorer lasted us, what, 16 years after rebuilding the trans once, and then it started to go again. Put a bunch of suspension parts on it. Brakes yeah. a suspension, few times. Suspension parts in Michigan are a must. Yeah. I only did the brakes and or the rotors, I think, on, on that Explorer once. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yep. I just changed the pads out frequently. Whenever they seem like they're getting low, I just did front and back. Or actually, I kind of alternated between the front and back because the back's, you know, you're at like 70% braking power in the front and only 30 in the back, so I didn't have to do the backs as much. I still can't believe the big old chunk out of that piston down there. That's crazy. <clears throat> you didn't hear it just clunk? When I that piece broke off? I heard a bunch of clunking. <laughs> I thought that was normal. Every time every time you braked? Every time you press the brakes? Oh. Man, you can't even grease the ball joints. That's nuts. I do a full full PM service on my truck every oil change. You gotta get the pump plumbers crack in there, dude. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> this is an anti-crack. Anti-crack anti crack, Yeah, anti-crack channel. Dude, something's not right, man. I knew I shouldn't doing? have took these Did off. you cross-thread it? I think so. No. Uh, something's not right. <laughs> it's not... Did it bite you? It's not coming down, coming where it's supposed to go, dude. It's not lining up? No. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? Is it going in? Yeah. You didn't strip it, did you? Or okay. cross thread it? That'll be right. Gotta get her done. Dude. What? Oh. Did you put the brake line on? No. Not yet. The caliper's not on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put the old caliper on. So this thing will break a lot better now. We'll take it for a test run when we get done. After we get done bleeding it? Yeah. There's one. See, that didn't take long. What, five minutes? How are the shocks in this thing? Great. Are those struts? Those look like struts. Yeah. Use your sleeve or something. There's some up top too. Yeah. Oh, gee. Oh, look at that big old goober. I got that. I don't even. I can't remember where I got those from. They're all right. I already went through that whole stinking box. Remember how I showed you that box of uh, brake? Brake uh, brake fluid, or not brake fluid, but uh, brake cleaner yeah. spray that I got. I got like, I, it was what, 12 or 13 bottles that I got for two bucks a piece. What? Yeah. For spray clean? Up, yeah. Up at they were having a summer like yard like sale it. type thing. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, the, that back one, that back side's real bad. <laughs> it actually, believe it or not, doesn't even look that bad for a piston scraping on it. Yeah, I know. You would think there would be some grooves or something, dude. Yeah. I mean, there is a little. But bit. that's a newer rotor, though. Yeah. Did you get the rotor, Bosch rotor? The rotor's got a lot of rust on it. For dude, being... you got to get the Bosch rotors. The Bosch rotors have a coating on them, an anti-rust coating. Oh, so do these. 
It does? Yeah. Oh. You didn't know? Oh, you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. Looks better than the rest of it, I can say. You got uh, something to take this piece of plastic thingy, majugi jiggy out. <laughs> what plastic thing? The, the cap. The oh, the clip? What do you need, like a screwdriver? Not the clip. It didn't come with extra clips? Oh, that's what you're talking about? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt to get out. Where's that? And it's got a pressure, or a crush washer. What are you looking for? I'm looking for, the, there it is. Right where it's supposed to be. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. You have a, a you need a, a rag or something? For what? <clears throat> Wipe that clean. Dude, I slid on my dirt bike the other day in these, on the cement. Oh. Yeah. What'd you fall off? Yeah, it was wet out. Real nice out here. Gave it a little bit too much goose. A little too much goose for the gander. Yep. Hey, isn't one supposed to go underneath and one goes on top too, or no? Does, one's yeah. supposed to go here, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. And that's why you put them both on the same no, side. No, I... <laughs> it, was a, it was a revelation after. No, I remember having one there, but yeah, I was uh, I was getting a little throttle therapy in. <laughs> I grabbed a little bit too much. Wing, black top, go figure. Black top and dirt, but black top water or rain and dirt bike tires. Ten milli. Do not mix. And some brake fluid, though. A ten milli. You know. Let's see. The one you can never trust. Not me. I got I got mine all accounted for. See, it's that easy, folks. Done. Socket. And then you said brake fluid. Fluid. Brake fluid. Hope I got enough. I don't know if I can do this here. Let's see. Probably not. I think I'm gonna need two hands. Yeah. All right. Well, all I have is this and a little bit of dot three. So no, you don't want to mix them. Man, I'm about to. Google. What's the matter with you? You don't Google mix dot. You, you don't mix mix, mix dot dots. I wouldn't. It's the same crap. Oh well. It's just got a little additive to make it be able to. Let's Google it. Wait. What does it have? Let's hear it. What's your explanation? It's got a little additive <laughs> to keep down the temperature. <laughs> it's just an yeah, additive. Watch. Right? Can you mix dot three and dot four? Brake fluid. Brake fluid. According to block, yes. Dot three is compatible with dot four. However, dot oh. four offers a little higher boiling okay. point. Okay. Better boiling okay. point. Okay. And mix them all. <laughs> Cha ching one for Larry. <laughs> all right. Just making sure it never hurts to check, does it? So you just we didn't got. Want to share your dot four, dude. No, nah, I go. That's running low, anyways. Oh, dude! <laughs> I <laughs> told you. It's running low. Oh, that is the stuff I put used motor oil in. Dude, it looks all frothy, bro. You just shook it up. <laughs> Yay! We're it's supposed the, to be frothy. We're at the minimum. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get more. No, there's not much in that. There's not much in there. I could get more when I leave here. I'm right. driving with. None. <laughs> Can't even see your face because of the stinking light. I said, I was driving with none. No. Come on. That's not good. You ready? You got the bleeder on there? Where's no. The... What'd you do with it? What? With the, the 10 milli. <laughs> I handed it to you. <laughs> no, I handed it to you. <laughs> You didn't hand it back to me. I did. No, you must have put it somewhere. I handed it back to you. I don't see it, dude. <laughs> you had to put it somewhere. You it? No. It's a 3 8 with a 10 millimeter socket. It's up on top of the thing there. That's exactly where you said it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh huh. Here. I'm what do you want me to do with it? I'm going to start it up and bleed them. It's just this front line. I'm not gonna get down there and do it. I'll push on the floor. Alright. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna get all greasy. Not today. 
Uh, all right. Oh. It's the shortest line, dude. There can't be much in here. Can we start it up? Yeah. 2010, baby. It sounds that way after the muffler fell off. <laughs> Missing a couple donuts, I see. Yeah. You ready? Pump yeah. It up. Pump it up, oh boy, just don't stop. That went all the way to the floor. It did now? Yeah, on the third pump. Hold it. Pump it up. You gotta pump it three times. Ooh, there we go. Two, three, and then hold it, and then open the... Holding it at the bottom? Yep, bleeder valve. Pump it. One, two, three, hold it. That's a lot better. There we go. Yeah, there we, we ain't go. got no more. That's perfect, dude. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Nothing but fluid. Okay. We still got something spare. You, is it closed? All right, I'm letting off. It's closed now. So that's all you do. You gotta have two people. Pump it up three times, hold it with a lot of pressure, and then open up the bleeder valve and push it all the way to the floor, and then they close the bleeder valve and then you pump it up three times, hold it, and just keep doing that. Until no bubbles come out. All right. Look at how shiny it is. It's like a brand new truck under there. Shut up. <laughs> well, at least we got a, a uh, what would you call that? Shiny a revelation tire. on how to armor all the inside of your tires. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reusing your old gloves. That's fine. I use I reuse them all the time. Especially Most nowadays, everybody takes all the the paranoid people take the uh, black ones, the good ones. They're taking nine mil gloves from H F store. For some oddball reason and then it was taking them forever to get the black ones in and the only thing they got in first was the seven mil so i just grabbed the seven mil they've been doing all right so go get the torque wrench and we'll torque it on make sure it's torqued to the proper torque specs what? <laughs> the parts Fire. Yeah, you gotta torque your, your. I already did that. You gotta dude. torque your lug nuts to the correct thing too. Yeah, right. <laughs> you supposed this, to. This backyard stuff here, buddy. Once you get tight. What a shame. What? Is Nobody torques their. Is that a custom paint job on those? <laughs> it was. <laughs> Nobody torques their lug it's, nuts, it's, dude. It's custom flat black with, with rust overlay. Or brake dust overlay. <clears throat> Should have went with gloss. So what is it? One hundred and thirty pounds. Whatever this piece of crap gun Chicago do. pneumatic Harbor Freight gun will get it to. However many ugga duggas it'll do. Look at that. that nice shiny bling rotor up in there dude it's good be nice if we could powder coat the whole truck just close the doors put it in the booth <laughs> let it rip yeah that would be oh my god gonna use that one for this one and this one here That's, okay yeah as a disclosure this is not how I would do it, folks. Yeah, you would. <laughs> no. Don't lie. On that, yeah. <laughs> all right, go get the stinking thing. Well, no, it's all good. No. I mean, if you're doing, if you're holding it the same amount, you know, you're probably good. <laughs> I mean, for such a, you know, nine, nine and a half CFM. It's a sixty. <laughs> 60 gallon single stage Campbell Haas field compressor. Does 9 CFM. Somebody's getting it. Get some.
All right, where's that? The torquey? No, it's not even the... the right socket. It's close enough. <laughs> Wait, let's get the, if you're gonna do that, let's get the torque wrench, dude. Oh my lord. What in the world is going on? There you go. <laughs> I don't think you could fit the, right, the, you the breaker bar on the torque wrench. What'd you say it was? I thought you said it was a hundred and... Which is you said. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably go at least 125, 130. Oh, Mine are 140. And that's eight lug. This is six lug? Yeah. Check torques real quick. Look it up. Go ahead. I'm, my hands are dirty. I'm filming. <laughs> All right, close enough. <laughs> All right. How you do it, folks? You got to do it right. All right, that's it. All buttoned up. Is that? Put that back in the drawer. I'm due for a new toolbox. Folks. I got way too many tools. My, my toolbox is overflowing. You gotta put stuff back in order, you won't be able to find it. That's next on the list. You guys got any recommendations for a good toolbox? I like the ones at Lowe's. The ones at Lowe's are pretty nice, but I don't know about them. They they uh they almost they tried to tell me I was gonna go to jail because I didn't have a mask on when I was in the store. So we all know that's a bunch of nonsense. I usually put it in the thicker one down there. Where? That one or the one. So I think that's about it on this, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. So we're gonna get we're gonna get this thing buttoned up and take it for a test drive. So if you guys are still... Alright, we're taking it for a test drive. No more clunky. Ooh, it sounds it's like it should. How's it feel? Jesus, this is the worst phone. What? <laughs> She's got some get up and go. She's got some pickup for a pickup. <laughs> Does it pull at all? No pulling. Good deal. So now we'll wait till next year and redo the other caliper when it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> And not like it was like some major work or nothing, but yeah, yeah it's only one o'clock. I got a couple hours. Yeah, you bang that one out. That's how you do it, man. I like that guy's truck back there. It sounds good. Oh, that's a good idea. This guy's got a. No, oh, you can't even see it, but he put up like a ten foot pole, maybe like an inch and a half pole, and then put a birdhouse on the top of it. And the the pole was on a stump, a tree stump that was like two foot tall. Uh oh, there's the brake light. No, that's no. all. That all went off. <laughs> Could shoot up to auto zone. Wait, wait, yeah, I'm gonna get some brake fluid. Just sure. make a left at the big street. Do three or do four? Do three. Oh crap. What? Oh, it must be in my coat. <clears throat> my wallet. That's the one thing I hate about wearing these hats, dude. Like after you start sweating, it starts yeah. itching. I'll get it. That way we don't have to make two trips. Like this, I hate when the beard's like this at this point right here. Oh, I don't even have mine. Before it gets like longer. Yeah, we gotta go back. It looks like patchy. For what? You said do you, you get, need something? Do you have money? My, mine's in my coat. Oh, I didn't know your coat was in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's only 25 in the, in the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. Better driving school right there. Maybe you should go in there. <laughs> a bushel mark. Uh, advanced autos that way. I was going to Murray's. Uh, Murray's? <laughs> I mean, uh, O'Reilly said okay. <laughs> we're just going to beep. We're going to bleep. We're going to bleep. Or, that out. Autos are. Oh, they require masks. 
Advanced so Auto what? doesn't. Hurry up! Oh my gosh, dude. Sorry about that, bud. <laughs> Illegal U turns. Couple times with the deer bike. <laughs> no, you did. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> I took it over here. This is that school we went to. We took the sleds down, down into the uh, the field over there. Sweat. All right, we're here at the auto parts store. Let's see what they got. All right, here's the brake fluid section. <laughs> Looking for dot three brake fluid. That's the French kind. That won't work in our American cars. Liquido de frenos? Yeah. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> I don't know. Three ninety nine. Yeah. Three ninety nine. I mean, it's brake fluid, dude. It's not like you have racing brakes or anything. And that's just temperature wise. Good man. How about you? All right, so we'll get checked out here. Pretty simple, guys. You just pop the cork and pour it in. <sighs> Don't even need a funnel. Look at that. It's like a professional. Right to the max. I bet you I measured it perfect. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, that's ridiculous. Who's right the man? On. Dot this guy over here. <laughs> Can't beat that. But now he doesn't have any extra. Oh no. All right, so if you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of stuff. Hit the alert bell so you're alerted to future updates. Drop in, say hello. Uh, if you got any suggestions on ways that we can improve this kind of stuff, just let me know. And uh, you always share with social share share on social media with family and friends. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Come on back. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.